guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. I just wanted to show you the soundproof barrier I have in my room. So my door is padded. So I have these, you know, things that you carry drinks around with. Um, and then I have it in each of the little cavities I have stuffed with um, foam. And so I have the same thing happening on this wall, except all around I have this three inch foam all the way around so I just took off some of the paneling so that you guys can see so yeah I mean um, if you guys have any suggestions as to how I can you know make this a little bit better and then behind the door I have these kind of like angled foam deflectors I guess so if you close the door The air conditioning sound goes away, but my son's room is right next door, and so he can be a little loud with his music. And you're hearing the birds outside. They're really loud today. My my daughter just built a little tree house in there. It's so cute, and you can kind of see there's a tree blooming white flowers. Yeah, so. Any ideas would be great. All right, cheers. Hi guys, I also just wanted to show you something really cool about my website that I just added. Um, so there's a remote viewing area. So if you click on this tab, it'll take you to this window. Um, so if you know anything about remote viewing, um, basically it's an ability to uh, see things remotely, right? So um, what you want to do is empty your mind, um, try and sit for about five minutes in, still, in stillness. Um, if any thoughts come into your mind, just dismiss them and let them go. If you get any vivid images that pop into your mind, let those images go as well. So um, when you're ready, then um, basically you click this button below, which is Target and it'll take you to an, another window and so here I have all the targets and behind each of these letters is an image so I mean if you want you can start with the first one over here um, so what you want to do is you know copy down uh, the letters and then sit with that for a little while what what feelings come to mind what vibrations do you get? Do you see or taste, a, you know, anything? And so after another five minutes, um, then you start to draw whatever, you know, sensations come to mind. So if you see a flash of silver, like, a, you know, um, kind of like, let's say a triangle silver color, um, you go ahead and draw that. Okay, so if you know, vivid images come into your mind, those are not um, what you want, okay? What you want is a, a sensation or a hint. And so, yeah, um, and when you're ready, all you do is scroll over the letter and it will um, show the image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show the first one. Oh, wow, okay, so that's kind of crazy what I saw was a flash of silver, right? And so I didn't know it was a wing, but I, I saw that image in my mind. So there you go. Yes, I did choose all of these. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of biased to it, but I mean, I, I, I made this part of the website about two weeks ago. So I honestly, I, I don't remember anything. Um, so if you go under remote viewing again, there's a shapes uh, test, a color test, and an element test. 
Um, <clears throat> so basically, you just want to guess, <clears throat> sorry, what is behind, whoa, uh, what is behind these question marks? Okay, so it could be any one of these images, right? So you, you got the idea there. Um, that was a diamond. Okay, and so the same goes for colors and for elements. So yeah, test your remote viewing ability and um, I think I might put a little comment section um, below on the main page if you wanted to comment. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, cheers. Welcome Divine Feminine to this week's Yin reading. So I'm going to be doing a split um, crossroads using my deck. I hope you're all doing well. Um, there are two outstanding readings that I, uh, I haven't returned your money for. Um, I would still like to do those readings, which is why I haven't uh, done a refund. Um, I've refunded about seven readings already, uh, just because my schedule is insane, but I, I held on to those two. Um, so you should be expecting those readings fairly shortly, probably tomorrow, if not tomorrow, the day after that. Okay, so thank you for your patience, and I'm still not accepting any new orders for private readings. Alright, so the crossroads, I'm going to pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. Okay, so how she feels about herself, how she feels about masculine, what she wants masculine to know, uh, what's in the heart space, um, how she feels about the relationship, um, what's the challenge, and... Uh, the advice. Okay, I'll have to fix those a little bit. And the bottom of the deck. And I'm just going to shuffle these cards just in case I need to pull a clarifier. I don't think I will. Oops, easy. Do I have these upside down? Okay, so beginning with the overall energy. Should I turn the light on? Might help. Okay. Um, transformation, the death card. So this is what I'm really feeling strongly is cutting away things that no longer serve you. Um, but this is metamorphosizing into a butterfly, right? So it's shedding your skin, shedding your old life, your old identity. So the feminine is going to be going through major transformation. And we actually saw that on in the Twin Flame reading. You know, it's like she was closed off, closed off, just fighting her thoughts. And then we got this spiritual union card as a final outcome. Okay, so how does she feel about herself? The perspective shift or the hangman card? So <clears throat> this is letting go of control, seeing things from a different point of view. So she is let go of... Um, the desire to control the masculine. Um, she's really turned within. Um, she's focusing on herself. Um, she realizes that things are going to happen with or without her input, right? And so she is um, surrendering to that. Okay, so how does she feel about the masculine? King of Swords, okay. So the King of Sh Swords showed up in the heart space. So she actually feels that the masculine is in this, this disconnected, unemotional frame of mind. Um, so this actually showed up. It was kind of a confirmation in the extended reading on the masculine side. So I'm not going to get into it. But um, this energy, you know, was coming from the past. So he may have been... Uh, projecting this uncaring, unemotional side of him in the past. And so that's what the feminine is concentrating on. That's what she feels. Okay, so this is what she wants masculine to know, Eight of Swords. So she has made a decision. She is, you know, this is mental clarity, awareness, consciousness. Uh, it's a very positive, triumphant card. So whatever decision is being made here, or choice being made, or 
idea that is, has formed will be a victorious one. Um, so she wants a masculine to know that she's standing by her truth. Um, she's ready to communicate. She's open to communication. Um, but, you know, this is a sword. This is something that cuts away barriers. Um, she's not taking any bullshit. Is basically what I'm feeling with, with this. Because especially, you know, since she is disconnecting here um, emotionally. Um, and she sees the masculine as being disconnected emotionally. There's just no turning back with this. There's a lot of coldness coming from her. Okay, so what is that? The heart space? Wow, the four sword. So it's a wrong image, but this image shows where the four sword is coming from. That, you know, heartbreak, pain. So in the heart space, she has felt this pain in the past. Um, and that's why she's cutting away, why she's transforming, why she's seeing things from a different perspective is because she's felt this pain and now she's going into herself. She's seeking solitude um, so that she can heal her, her heart. So in the heart space, there's healing. Okay, so how does she feel about the relationship? Eight of Wands. So this is a pretty positive card. It could represent communication, but it's a accelerated energy. It's seeing the finish line. You're almost there, and so you're stepping on the gas. So it's full throttle. So in terms of re the relationship, there may be this desire to reach out, communicate, send love, right? But she's stopping herself. She's retreating. Okay, so what is the challenge is the Seven of Cups. So this is knowing what you want, not knowing how to get there, having too many options. It's confusion. So the, the challenge is to, um, you know, what is the name of that freaking card? Um, the overall energy from the, or sorry, the message from the universe was... Oh my god, I, it's just on the tip of my tongue, maybe it'll come, but um, it is a person who is in control of their life, they've made the mistakes and they've learned from those mistakes, they've learned their lessons, right, and so you're not going to repeat those mistakes. So the challenge is to find your path, um, to be the, oh, oh my god, it's gone, okay. So yeah, um... The challenge is to to let go of control, emotional um, manipulation, and not make a decision. To stand by your truth. Don't let emotions cloud your judgment, and find that path. Okay. So, what is this one? This is the advice. Seven of Pentacles. So this is contemplation, it is a pause, it's a forced pause, you're waiting for the payoff, so there's nothing to do but wait, and while you're waiting, you consider all your options, right? So the universe is, is telling you to, to stop and think. You haven't been doing that, right? The challenge is feeling confused and clouded. Um, so the universe is telling you to become grounded and really think about what's happening in your 3D reality. See where you've made the mistakes so you don't continue to make those mistakes in the future. Very similar message that was coming um, from that freaking car that I can't remember the name of. Oh my god, it drives me crazy because this is exact, you know, message. So very cool synchronicity. Um, okay, so let's pull one card as final message from the universe. The talisman. That's what it is. The talisman. Oh, whoa. Okay, so that card. Three of swords. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the same card that the masculine got as a message from the universe. So this is letting go. Um, and so we can see that same letting go taking place on, on the feminine side. So I did read it um, in the Twin Flame reading. 
Should I read it again? Yeah, it was pretty short, so I'll read it again. And that just flew out. Kind of smacked me in the face a little bit. Okay, so three of swords. Oh my gosh, okay. I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay. Silver lining. Um, natural departures. Rejection is God's protection. A third party helps me to see the truth of this situation. What is truly mine can never be withheld from me. Rejection is spirit's protection. It's, a best, it's in my best interest to let go and allow for something better to take its place. It is my, in my highest good to see the truth regardless of my temporary discomfort. This too shall pass. Okay, seeing the truth, that's what I felt strongly with the Eight of Swords. Um, we see that truth happening with the perspective shift, letting go of control, very similar energy. Same thing with the four swords, right? In the heart space, we have a healing from the three of swords. So seeing the truth was actually a very prominent theme on the masculine side. So there is a merging of dualities here. Um, so it came from the six of swords. Uh, I read it the Osho Zen card. So that was the final message from the extended version of the Yang reading was seeking the truth, seeing the truth, seeing the lie. And so what the masculine, or sorry, what the feminine wants the masculine to know is that she sees the truth. She's letting go of control. She's surrendering. Um, now, the challenge is to find your path and not make the same mistakes again and so you're being asked to stop and consider some things right maybe you're you're too stuck in your ways maybe you're too bullheaded right so um vulnerability is important open yourself up um two emotions because we we feel you closing off quite a bit all right so i do hope this helps like share comment and subscribe cheers back so this is the extended version of the yin for may the 23rd until the 30th so let me just shuffle my smaller deck here Okay, so how she feels about herself is this perspective shift. Seven of Swords. Wow, same card and the Four of Swords. So Seven of Swords, mistrust, feeling stabbed in the back. This card was showing up in the near future as well. So there's a lot of thoughts swirling around in the feminine's head. And so she is seeing things from a different point of view or trying to shift her perspective perspective double whammy there okay so the four of swords was also showing up in the hard space and it's coming in the future so this is the same surrender letting go releasing that which you cannot control um yeah perspective shift from that negative frame of mind um, healing the heart Okay, so how she feels about the masculine, the king of swords, eight of swords. Wow, there's, that keeps showing up. Ace of cups, okay. And the nine of fire. So eight of swords, past position. So you both feel locked out. You're both picking up on this mental prison energy. Um, and it seems to be connected to the king of swords. So continuous synchronicity here. Um, so she feels the masculine has shut her out, mentally and emotionally. 
Now, there's still love in her heart. The Ace of Cups also sh was the union energy that she was bringing in. So there's this connection at the heart space, a desire to begin anew. Um, but it's coming in as a confirmation card, so it's a lower energy. So there's that potential there, that opening there. So the future, we have the Nine of Fire, so this is feeling exhausted, um, almost at the finish line, wanting to give up, but having the strength to c continue. Okay, so we see this struggle. She's feeling locked out, you know, and she's kind of like dragging her feet. Okay. So what does she want the Master to know? Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords, sorry. The Lovers, the Six of Fire, and the Ten of Swords. Lovers card, past position. This is passion, um, deep connection, soul connection, and, but it is a longing and desire to be reunited with your twin flame. So um, she wants the masculine to know that she recognizes him as his twin flame that she felt so deeply connected with him on a soul level, there was no denying that he was her true love. But she, and she, you know, stands by her truth in this knowing. There's no denying it. Okay, and she feels successful about it as well. She feels inspired, she feels uplifted. Um, she feels encouraged, she feels like she's on the right track, but there's this mental noise that keeps pulling her back in. Again, she feels locked out, she feels like she's being betrayed. Um, now this will come to an end in the future as a Ten of Swords. So we got the Ten of Swords completing, but the Ace of Swords, a new beginning, is the main energy card. So it's like... You know, this is how, what she wants masculine to know. It's like, there's this truth that she, she understands about the twin flame connection that is undeniable. But there's all this other stuff that keeps creeping in that, that she will essentially cut loose completely with this, the scissors, the ten of swords. And again, that cutting away energy with the death card, um, that transformation with the perspective shift, that that is coming, right? But there's this truth that it's like a beacon of light that she holds in her mind um, and that continually draws up this passion within her. Okay, so the heart space, we have that four swords, three pentacles, third eye chakra and the ten of cups beautiful four swords i love that this three of pentacles is showing up as a synchronicity over and over and over again right from the past there is this knowing that this connection is secure in the 3d it's not going anywhere it's always going to be there um you know so even though there's this pain in the heart space and, and healing taking place, you know, no matter how much pain she feels, that this connection is secure. It's always going to be okay, right, with her. It, there's never going to be an ending. There's always going to be a future. And that's what's coming in as the Ten of Cups. So the third eye chakra. So through this pain, she is going within. She's using her intuition, her inner knowing. Um, you know, she's looking to the past and feeling that that groundedness, right? Even though there's a sense that she wants to completely let go, disconnect, turn her back on the masculine. Um, she can't. She can't let go. She just can't. She's being drawn to this happily ever after. The Ten of Cups in the future. Right, this is the happily ever after, peace, harmony, bliss, emotional satisfaction beyond anything you can imagine. Right, and there's this intuitive knowing in the heart space that, that this is what's 
um, there for her and that's what makes her feel grounded and safe but like I said there's healing that has to happen for that to fully manifest okay so how she feels about the relationship it's the eight of wands patience well ace of wands again and ace of pentacles okay so these two cards keep on showing up over and over again in the reading the masculine got this feminine you guys got this um, again, this was a crowning energy, it showed up in the masculine, yang reading. Um, the patience card in the past. Okay, so this is how she views the relationship. She sees herself as being patient, um, being in the now, um, waiting, right? This is a view of a relationship. Am I doing that right? Okay, a yeah, heart space, relationship. Um, she feels uplifted, she, you know, when she is in this union in the 5D, she definitely feels uplifted. She feels love. She feels that vibration. Um, and that's what holds her to the masculine. The, then we got these two aces here, so we have an 11. So in terms of the relationship, she wants that new beginning, the ace of fire. And again, the ace of cups has showed up repeatedly. So she wants that new beginning. This was a crowning energy. She, she's sending that intention, intention out continuously into the universe. Um, and so the Eight of Wands is that vibration returning. So she's sending that out and that will return as a reward. A gift is coming to her. Nice. So new beginnings in terms of the relationship, a definite vibration of uh, manifestation right and it's really pointing to that two of cups that spiritual union the four of wands that was so heavy heavy in the in the masculine side of the reading there's something beautiful coming okay so the challenge was the seven of cups two of swords oh my god two of cups oh my god ace of swords again <laughs> wow okay so the Two of Swords, past position. This is indecision, crossroads, right? So you're stuck in one place. It's a mental conflict. You're unable to move. And that's what create, creates that confusion, that not knowing what, which road do I choose, this way or that way. I know what I want, but I don't know how to get there. So this mental conflict, you know, is a challenge to overcome. The p present position is the Two of Cups. Um, so I'm almost feeling this is, this is a you know the advice in a way concentrate on the spiritual connection it will manifest but more importantly um, you know this is what the feminine wants is the two of cups of spiritual union it's the final outcome but the, the challenge is to find a way to get there right but the message from you know the, the universe the the you know, advice is to stop in your tracks, uh, stop trying, stop, um, there's nothing you can do, right? There's this pause and the pause is there for a reason, accept it. So the hurdle is to continue to let go of control, continue to surrender. Um, yes, you want that spiritual union you're unable to move forward, that's, you know, that's fine. Um, continue to hold that truth in your heart. Okay, same card here, Eight of Swords, or Ace of Swords coming in the future. There, that is that truth being grounded into reality, cutting away all that confusion and focusing solely on the connection, the 5D, knowing that he is your twin flame, there's no doubt about it. Yes, he's caused you pain, uh, you felt like this things are not moving you you may even be the one putting the block on the connection but ultimately it seems like it's a destined thing know that truth and stand by that truth seven of pentacles advice king of fire showing up in the past again what queen of fire oh my god queen of swords a lot of synchronicities happening here. Okay, so the King of Fire keeps showing up in the past. 
So what I was getting from that, it, and it was confirmed that this is a masculine energy being overwhelming, being overpowering, and ultimately intimidating the feminine. Now, there was a matching of energy in extended reading, the yang. This was coming in the future. So there was this matching of energy. Okay, so the, the, the advice, feminine, is to embody the queen of fire, to let your light shine, to find that confidence once again. Um, you know, feel passion, feel that desire for your masculine. You're blocking that off. And you know, that energy, that reflection will come when you, you stop. Um, stop wanting, stop trying to figure shit out, stop fearing things, and just stay in that knowing of a true love twin flame connection. Now the Queen of Swords is showing up in the future. So the Queen of Swords was actually part of the final outcome in, for the extended part of the reading. Uh, for the twin flame, um, for the masculine. So he's coming up across this Queen of Swords energy, somebody who's cold, somebody who's unemotional, detached, who will, has cutting words, right? So this is in the future position. Um, so I'm almost feeling like it's kind of a warning. You know, don't be cold hearted. Don't cut yourself off. But also, since it's coupled with the seven of of earth this kind of saying you know you, you come to an understanding um, there is an emotional level with this queen all queens are water um, air is sword right so it's like um, she uses her mental clarity in order to make decisions to communicate but she does so from an emotional level, but she doesn't wear her heart on her sleeve. So there is a balance here, but it's more of a disconnect, right? So what I'm feeling here is an opening and on an emotional level, level, but still keeping your wits about you. Seeing, cl seeing things clear, clearly. That clarity will come when you sit down and think but you need to be the one to put the brakes on um, and then the answer will come but also to feel passion and you know um, like when you go within are you really you know connected to that three of swords or is this just a thought you know um, what do you feel in your heart? Do you feel love? Do you feel passion? Do you feel this desire? Or is this something that you are completely blocking out? And I see you shifting from a negative frame of mind to a positive over and over. You're cutting away the negative here. You're coming to an end of an exhaustive journey. Um, the four swords is you retreating, but we got the um, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, all coming in the future. So there's this loving connection, but unless you're open to it, um, you know, it's like you always have this wall created between you and the masculine. So you need to be the one to transform into that butterfly. Open yourself up, really. You know, if you look at this uh, card, you're the angel. Now, this energy is turned away from the masculine, and her arms are draped about her breast, so she's uh, protecting her heart. All right, so this is all mental noise. This is all thoughts. So the Four Swords is a great start. So heal, retreat, find that calmness, that stillness. Use your intuition, and the answer will come. You already know the answer, and it will come back to you again in the future. All right, so let's do Enchanted Map. No, let's do the Osho Zen. Exhaustion, the Nine of Wands. So 
that's this card right here coming in the future so this card is about feeling burdened feeling trapped in the machine um, just giving so much of yourself day in day out Okay, so can you see that all right? So man who lives through conscious conscience becomes hard. A man who lives through consciousness remains soft. So let's think about that. So someone who is um, conscience. So this is, you know, living through sin. You're, you have a conscience, right? Um, whereas consciousness is awareness it's pure consciousness it's not thought um, it's being in the now being aware awake okay so a man who lives through consciousness remains soft why because a man who has some idea about how to live naturally becomes hard he has continuously uh, to carry his character around with himself. So carrying around this identity, um, this thing you feel is the truth, you're carrying around this illusion with you, this pain in your heart. Um, the character is like an armor, his protection, his security. His whole life is invested in that character. And he always reacts to situations through the character, not directly. If you ask him a question, his answer is ready-made. That is a sign of a hard person. He is dull, stupid, mechanical. He may be a good computer, but he is not a man. You do something and he reacts in a well-established way. His reaction is predictable. He is a robot. Okay, so what I'm feeling here is that coldness, that sternness. That I, that I keep picking up, right? Um, so instead of being the King of Swords or feeling that King of Swords energy, you're kind of allowing emotions to come in, uh, opening up. You're not a robot. You're not, you know, living life day to day, just, you know, fulfilling your routine. Um, you know, you got to be conscious. There's consciousness behind it. Uh, the real man acts spontaneously. If you ask him a question, your question gets a response, not a reaction. He opens his heart to your question, explores himself in your question, responds to it. Responds to it, not reacts to it out of conditioning. Right? So what I think the universe is saying here is be aware of your reaction. How are you projecting your energy out into the universe? Are you cold? Are you... Uh, unapproachable right so transform let go of that old character that role that you've been holding on to uh, and shift into a new way of seeing things all right so I do hope this helps sending massive love your way um, please like share subscribe and comment bye bye see you next week